This was a situation where Korean American volunteers showed up with their shotguns and their rifles, and they had guarded the uh, supermarket throughout the night, uh, pretty much um, barricaded behind boxes of cabbages and other rice bags. And these two gentlemen were in the rooftop uh, with my Korean fluency. I was able to disarm them that I was there just to document what was going on. You know, they were just keeping their eye on the road and, and, and this one gentleman started yawning obviously because he has stayed up all night. There's a huge electronic shop. It caught on fire, I don't know how. But by then, uh, there were a bunch of bystanders uh, who came out to watch it burn. And these uh, young men, uh, to me, were watching someone else's American dream going up in smoke as they were oblivious to whatever American dream that they were chasing. This photograph was taken at the corner of um, Crenshaw and West Adams. When I arrived on the scene, there were already people out on the streets banging pots and pans, already homemade signs. And this woman stepped into the frame with the sign that said, Burn Baby Burn, which ended up being a prelude for what was gonna happen that night. During the 1992 riots, myself and another photographer, Mike Meadows, were crisscrossing the streets. We were running out of gas, and we stopped at the corner of Pico and La Brea at a gas station when I looked over and noticed the back of the 7-Eleven was on fire. So I had stopped, got out of the car, walked across the street, and noticed the message that was left, look what you create. And I'd been photographing different signs and different sayings uh, all throughout the day, so this one was quite poignant. The reason why we're here is I um, saw somebody burning a palm tree and they were using a uh, long pole with a flag on it. And uh, I didn't really realize that it was an American flag. Here's an image of it. And you can see that the uh, stars and stripes, I didn't really realize that until I printed the image. And you can almost tell it was a long exposure through the uh, embers of the palm tree burning off. I followed a group of demonstrators on this railing right here, and they were lighting palm trees on fire with flags, and the freeway was shut down, so you had people on the freeway demonstrating, throwing stuff, revering. There was a lot of energy, first night of demonstration, so it felt more like a more upbeat rather than a battle. April of 1992, I was a freelance magazine photographer, and the picture we're looking at right now was, was taken late in the day, I think on the second day of the riots. You can tell by the light that the sun was setting over here, 
and it was uh, just one of many similar scenes I saw, which was just buildings on fire and no police around whatsoever. There was smoke all over the city the first night. You know, I just remember the, how my apartment for two or three nights was really smoky. But it was certainly a seminal event in the city and, and for my career as well.